Hello, welcome to the Dolphin Academy vlog. Today, we pay tribute to the patriarch of Dolphin Academy. His name is Copan. Now, I spent uh, a lot of years working with over 100 different dolphins in my career, but uh, this one holds a special place in my heart and in the hearts of a whole lot of other people. And this is his story. Copan and I spent the better part of 23 years working together. Although we arrived in Curaçao in 2002, our relationship began much earlier than that. In the early 90s, I was offered a job as animal care supervisor at the Roatan Institute for Marine Sciences on the Bay Islands of Honduras. When I met Copan, he was still a juvenile, but exceedingly bright and remarkably powerful. Socially, he had asserted himself as the dominant male of the group. Intellectually, he was learning new trained behaviors at an unprecedented pace. Early on, Copan developed a proud habit of dramatically arching his back at the top of every jump. The way he would seem to hang motionless for a moment always reminded me of Michael Jordan's signature move. Over the next few years, Copan had become the star of his class, and in 1994, the rest of the world was about to take notice. That year, a short teaser trailer called Dolphin Dreams had been shot by a film producer hoping to make a feature film. Here's a scene. Pay close attention to the dolphin on the right. Plans for that movie never took root in Hollywood, but because the footage had circulated, other producers and directors had taken notice of Roatan and the fact we were able to work with trained dolphins in the open sea. They too had noticed that dolphin on the right. One production company cast Copan as a key character in an adventure TV movie called The Bermuda Triangle, about a family stranded on a bizarre island. Here's just one of his many scenes. That movie gave Copan a lot more exposure and lead producers of the 1995 Flipper's New Adventure television series cast him as Flipper for all the ocean scenes. He had the same role as Ocean Flipper in the 1996 movie starring Paul Hogan and Elijah Wood. Of course, Copan was far more than a media darling. He was a darling to the lady dolphins as well, busy fathering several babies in Roatan. Two other males were fathering children as well, and the Roatan facility started getting a little crowded. By 2000, word had spread throughout the Caribbean that the Institute was looking to establish a branching community elsewhere. A perfect fit was found, the Curaçao Sea Aquarium, and the Dolphin Academy was born. 
Here's a description of Copan's arrival with the other dolphins that first day in Curacao, as seen on the Dutch television program, Zouvenirs. We arrived with the dolphins in May of 2002, and one of those dolphins is Copan. And Copan, ha I've had the longest history with. I first met him in, in uh, November of 1989, so it'll be 20 years this November uh, that we've worked together. Well, the first dolphins in the water were, were uh, all of the females. You know, Copan was the lone uh, male in the first transport. And uh, so all the females were in the water. As one would go in the water, they begin to explore their new habitat. As the second and third and fourth, they all start gathering together and start exploring, having very little to do with the location where we placed them in the water. That's why it was a bit surprising when Copan, being the last one in, uh, rather than run off to check on all the females, uh, Instead, he paused to wait to see if anybody was going to offer him something to eat. Thus began Copan's life in Curacao with Teresa, Annie, Didi, and Bonnie, and a new mix of trainers. Copan mastered all of the Dolphin Academy programs, the encounter, the swim and snorkel, the assistant trainer program, and the open water scuba dive. Copan's participation in the daily training demonstration was nothing short of breathtaking. And of course, he continued to be the ladies' man, fathering more babies here in Curacao. Copan's love life even got attention in local media, with Copan being compared to George Clooney. Of course, it is because of his love life that we are so fortunate to still be connected to Copan after he passed away in 2012. Although he left an irreplaceable void in the soul of Dolphin Academy, his intelligence, passion, and love survive and are celebrated in his beautiful offspring. Copan touched the hearts and minds of countless visitors from all over the world. We are grateful for the years of experience with this wonderful animal and will forever cherish the beautiful memories Copan created for all the dolphins and humans who had the pleasure to meet him. We hope you've enjoyed learning about uh, Copan, very special dolphin, and of course our patriarch father of six of the dolphins here now, and so far one grandbaby. Uh, be sure to hit the like button, as they say, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and keep the comments and questions coming. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, and be safe.